What's up everyone and welcome to another Lutheria price prediction video. In these videos I break down where I think the price might be moving next for some of the assets that are suggested to me either in the comments section down below of these videos or in the Lutheria community telegram channel which you can find a link for in the description below. In this video we're going to be breaking down Luna so let's start off on the weekly time frame here. You can see that this last week we had this uh, bullish weekly candlestick coming off of a higher low that we set here in comparison to our previous low back from September 20th in conjunction with a hidden bullish divergence here on the RSI declining bear volume coming into bull and so all the signals here on the weekly time frame pointing to higher prices for Luna so if you're a lunatic and bullish on this asset this is good news for you so let's go down to the lower time frames and take a look at what we're dealing with here. We're running into a resistance level on the two day time frame, which came from our bear trend back here, where we had the high, low, lower, high, lower, low pattern. And so if you don't know how to identify bear trends, check out our tutorial video where we break that down for you. But right here is our main resistance. You can see we've already had one rejection off of it here in this two day candle, um, coming with some declining bull volume coming into that zone. But we also got a change in trend here with a uh, bullish pattern for a bullish trend here on the two-day time frame. So as soon as we uh, validated a two-day bear trend, we came back and validated a bull trend. We also have a video breaking that down for you as well, so check out our tutorial on that. But that printed this as a support zone down here from about 38.48 down to about 35. If we end up going down below here, um, I would expect a bounce off of this 38 uh roughly $39 level um and then going down to about $35 that's going to be the buy zone where I'll expect a bounce and where I'll be bidding on Luna if we get down to that price. Uh, if we go down to the 12 hour time frame we can see um if we go above this 12 hour resistance level right here uh I think that um that's going to be where we start to see some significant rise thereafter. This is from our bear trend right here where we had the high, low, lower, high, lower, low. We're coming into this level now and it's gonna be interesting to see how uh, Luna's price reacts to this level. But if we get above this level and close two candles above it, I would expect uh, slowly over the next few days for us to make our way towards these uh, previous all-time highs and get up to at least $51, um, up to this R2 pivot. And then thereafter, I would expect the next pivot being the R3, for us to get up to $57. And that is about a 31% uh, increase from where we are now. And thereafter, we're, we could really see some quick acceleration of Luna. Uh, some of the fundamentals behind this project right now that are driving some of the bullish price action. Um, there's a proposal right now that is about to potentially burn uh, 90 million Luna, significantly decreasing the overall supply and minting some UST as a result of that. And so that supply crunch is going to contribute towards short-term price action. Obviously, uh, people are pricing that in, but the fact is um, that supply crunch isn't really going to impact circulating supply very much just because uh, that supply is in the community pool, which already is not um, in circulating supply as it stands. So it is decreasing the overall supply, which long-term is bullish for Luna. So it will uh, likely contribute to some bullish price action if it ends up getting passed. Um, but right now, this is the main resistance level I'm looking at. And that is what I got in terms of Luna price action. If you like this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe for future educational content around crypto and blockchain technology. And I just wanted to show you guys an event that we have coming up here on November 6th. This is where we're going to be breaking down an investment strategy for different crypto assets that I personally utilize. We're going to be talking about things like sourcing and taking advantage of new investment opportunities, determining key areas to accumulate different crypto assets you're bullish on like Luna, which is what I'm looking at doing now, taking profit after you've gotten yourself a winning investment, adjusting your portfolio to um, make sure that you're reducing your risk and maximizing yield, and we'll be using different uh, DeFi applications to do that. And we'll also be showing you guys how to uh, utilize our automated investment tool, which we'll be launching soon, and give you guys the opportunity to suggest any features or uh, design implementations that you would like to see for that that might be beneficial for you. So check that out. You can get a ticket using the link in the description below. 
And until next time, onward and upward.